Hi there, Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to make this colorful St. Patrick's Day wall art. It would look so great hung on your wall, the fridge, or even your front door. This video is brought to you by Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com. We're going to use some of their paper ribbon, paper straws, pipe cleaners, crepe paper, and um, we're also going to use some burlap, and I'm going to show you how you can customize that for any project. This is a great way to use up your scraps that you have left over from other projects in the craft room, too. So let's go to the table, and I'll show you how to make this. The first thing we need is a piece of cardboard. I'm using a scrap of mat board that's about 8 inches by 8 inches and a scrap of burlap fabric from Paper Mart. So what I've done is I'm basically putting some hot glue on the back of my cardboard after placing it on top of my burlap and then pulling the fabric around and securing it to the back. It's helpful to glue opposite sides down and then flip it and do the two other sides. Then when you flip it over you're going to have a really nice and tidy square to work on. I lightly misted the front of the burlap with some water and now I'm coloring it with my watercolor pencils. You could also use chalk pastels if you want to or um, oil pastels. If you're using regular oil pastels or crayons, you don't need to spray it with water first, but spraying it with water will help set any watercolor pencils or uh, chalk pastels that you wish to use. I decided to use green on the bottom and then blue along the skyline. You can even layer multiple colors to get a more deep, intense color. You could paint it as well. It's completely up to you and the supplies that you have on hand. With the sky now colored, I gathered the rest of my supplies. I have some pipe cleaners from Paper Mart and also some fun foam. So what I did here was I used my thin dies, which cut fun foam beautifully, to cut a circle out of some black fun foam. And then I used an oval die just to cut a little uh, slice off the top, and that would make the opening for my pot of gold. But you can certainly trace a template or just freehand cut it. That'll work just fine. I had another die that kind of looked like a cloud, so I cut that out of white fun foam. Fun foam is just fun. I mean, I think that's why they call it fun foam. I thought that these really bright rainbow colored pipe cleaners would be perfect to make the rainbow. And then I saw this gold one, which I thought would make a wonderful um, pot of gold filler. So to give it a little bit of texture, I'm just kind of bending it and scrunching it up. And then I'll be able to put it right in my pot. Now, I like to lay everything out on my board before I start gluing down. That's going to alleviate any mistakes I might make when I get out the glue. I thought it'd be fun to have a little handle on my pot of gold, so I've got a little spool of copper wire, and I'm just going to chop off about a 5-inch piece. I found some really neat beads with letters on them in my bead stash, and I thought that would be perfect to put the word lucky on the front of my pot of gold, because wouldn't you be lucky if you found that? I think so. I'm curling one of the ends of my wire down so that the beads won't slide off, and then I'm just going to slide the beads on. I wish I could string beads that fast in real life. So now that I have all the pieces prepped, I can start gluing. I'm going to start with my um, little pot of gold by putting some hot glue on the back of the fun foam. Now, if you're working with kids, make sure you either use a low temperature hot glue gun or you use some other cold glue that is uh, thick and tacky, such as Aileen's Thick and Tacky Glue, Helmar 450, or Beacon 3-in-1. You want something that's really going to grab the foam, the pipe cleaners, and your other 3D embellishments. But since I'm not working with kids, I'm using my trusty glue gun. Now the uh, little handle we made by stringing the beads, that's all prepared. And I'm going to try gluing it down just by the edges of the wire to the edges of the pot. Later on, I'm going to secure the beads underneath as well. To glue the rainbow down, I'm starting with a strip of hot glue from the edge of my canvas over to the pot of gold. And then I am just putting another strip of glue and another pipe cleaner. Once you get that first pipe cleaner down, it makes it really easy to line up the other ones. So it wouldn't be a bad idea if you're working with kids to hot glue down that first pipe cleaner yourself and then let them use a the tacky glue for the rest of the pipe cleaners. After the glue is completely dry, use either wire clippers or a pair of old junky scissors to clip the pipe cleaners at the edge of the canvas. Now it's time to build the frame. I'm going to use paper straws, which are so fun and pretty and bright and awesome. And I'm going to start by doing the two sides of my canvas. So I'm going to use hot glue. I'm going to put a bead of glue along one edge and then simply press the straw into it and then repeat on the other side and then glue onto the bottom in the same fashion. 
The top section of our frame is actually going to hold our hanger. I'm using some paper ribbon from Paper Mart and inserting it down that straw that's going to go on the top. Then I'm tying both ends of the ribbon together and I'm going to hot glue it across the top. But first, to hide the knot, I'm simply going to pull the ribbon through a little bit so the knot is glued or secured on the inside of the straw. Then all you need to do is put a bead of glue down and stick the straw in place and you have a hanger there. Now it's time to embellish our creation. So what I'm doing is taking some glue and drawing the where I want the stem for my shamrock to be. And then I'm just sticking it in the glue. And if you notice that that green pipe cleaner is a little bit darker than the green in the rainbow, it's because I took the scrap from the rainbow and I used my watercolor pencil to make it a little bit darker. I love to um, make my supplies match by using stuff I already have. That way I don't have any waste. Now this uh, shamrock was die cut out of some glitter foam, which was self-adhesive, but I didn't quite trust the um, adhesive on there so I added some hot glue to help it along. I thought that the uh, picture would look really springy and nice with some grass at the bottom. So I took some crepe paper and um, I'm simply cutting a piece to fit the bottom of my my little canvas here and then I'm folding it up and cutting a few slits so that it will look like grass. I decided my grass was a little tall so I decided to trim it and give it a little haircut so that it would um, look a little bit better on my paper. So there you can see it. I'm scrunching up the blades of grass to give it more texture and that will also uh, make it fit under the pot a little bit better and accent my um, little shamrocks there. I added another shamrock to the design before I glued down my grass and I left a little gap between the bottom of my frame and the grass because I thought it would be kind of um, fun to add a uh, metallic pipe cleaner in there and you'll see me do that in just a second. There we go. I think that looks nice and special. And then you want to trim off the end of the pipe cleaner using a pair of wire cutters or old junky shears. Again, you don't want to nick your nice scissors and that will make it look nice and neat. I thought this guy needed one more shamrock, so I stuck it right down there on the canvas and now I'm using one of the metallic pipe cleaners as the stem because it was a scrap left over from our bottom border and I hate to waste and I think it just adds a little extra accent and bling to the St. Patty's Day canvas. What do you think? I noticed my letter beads were moving around a little bit there, so to solve that problem, I'm just sneaking a little bit of glue behind those beads and then gently tapping them into place. And that way they're going to stay exactly where I want them so they can be read no matter how jostled this plaque gets while it's on display. I hope you enjoyed this project and that it inspired you to try to make something similar with the supplies you have at home. I want to thank our sponsor Paper Mart for supplying us with these products today. You can find them online at www.papermart.com where we make you look even better. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.